let us move on to the chapter pressure on page 150 151 and 152 today the first topic is how to measure atmospheric pressure to measure the atmosphere pressure we use barometer just before we have learned how to measure liquid pressure that is manometer is used to measure the liquid pressure now we will discuss the setup of barometer it is of long tube which is of glass and it is filled with mercury and closed at one end the open end of the tube is placed in a small trough containing mercury the pressure exerted by air on the mercury of the trough is able to hold a certain height of the mercury column when the pressure over the liquid is low the mercury level in the tube will be falls down the level of the mercury in the tube falls down when the pressure is air pressure is more on the surface of the liquid what will happen it pushes the liquid mercury inside the tube capillary tube so the level of mercury column in the tube increased this reading shows the pressure exerted by the air or air pressure at sea level the pressure of air is 760 millimeter of mercury or 76 centimeter of mercury 76 centimeter or 760 millimeter of mercury is equal to 1 atm or 1 atmospheric pressure this reading is taken at sea level 1 atm is our standard atmospheric air pressure now we are going to see wherever air pressure is used in our daily life first filling medicine in a dropper and ink in a fountain pen these all function because of air pressure Suppose you want to fill the pen with the ink with the help of dropper. Now what you do, you put the dropper inside the ink. Now what will happen, if you put simply, the ink will not enter inside the dropper. What you have to do, you have to press the dropper. Why do you press the dropper? So that air pressure, air inside the dropper goes out. Now, now air pressure inside the dropper is lesser so outside air pressure is more so which pushes the liquid when you release the dropper which pushes the liquid inwards thus the dropper is filled with ink and we can use this ink for filling in pen the same principle is used to fill the medicine in dropper now you are going to drink juice with the help of using straw straw is a long plastic tube like structure which is kept inside the uh, what is that juice now you want to suck it you want to drink the juice what you do you will suck the straw when you suck the straw air present inside the straw goes into your mouth now what happened air inside the straw is lesser air outside the straw is more that means over the liquid is more so because of this difference this air pressure pushes the juice inside the straw thus we could drink cold drinks with the help of straw air pressure is also helped in making a fountain for this you have to take a big bottle and fit it with a stopper in which two holes are made you have to take two hold stopper now put a straight and long glass tube through one hole the upper end of this tube should have narrow mouth and put a bent glass tube in the other second hole of the stopper but while putting you should be careful the end of the straight tube should be dipped into the water and the bent tube should remain outside the water it should not dip into the water it should not touch the water now you are going to blow air through the bent tube when we blow air through the bent tube, the pressure inside the bottle increases. This pushes the water to rise through the second tube. It comes out in the form of a fountain. Next example is air pressure forces liquid through the siphon. Siphon is a U-tube like structure which is kept in inverted position. Siphon is used to draw liquids from big vessels. It is a tube of glass may be metal or it is made of rubber. The tube consists of shorter arm and a longer arm. 
shorter arm of the tube is put into the liquid in the big vessel the longer arm is put into the empty container air is sucked from the longer arm the pressure inside the tube decreases and the liquid rises in the tube from the shorter end and sh start coming out when we suck air from the longer arm what happened air inside decreases and the other liquid pressure that means air over the liquid increases which pushes the liquid inside the tube thus through the tube water will be collected through the long tube water will be collected in an empty vessel the empty vessel should be kept at the lower level and it continues to flow until the level in the two vessels become equal or complete liquid is drawn out which senses that we can draw out all the liquid from the container through this method we can collect all the water into the empty container which is kept at the lower level the next one is air pressure can push the things air exert pressure and push the things that is the reason sail boat moves because of air pressure windmill moves because of air pressure kites fly because of air pressure these are the example that shows air pressure push the things we know that air pressure changes from place to place and time to time this is due to change in temperature and quantity of water vapor in the air that means we can say humidity and temperature these two factors changes the atmosphere pressure but one thing we have to remember that density of, density of moist air is less than the dry air density also decreases with the increase in temperature do you know why density of moist air is less than the dry air moist air means water vapor content in the air the weight of the water vapor is lesser than the oxygen hydrogen sorry nitrogen and carbon dioxide that is the reason the density of moist air is considered to be lesser than the dry air why density of air decreases with increase in temperature when temperature is increase the gas particle expand thus density per unit area remain decreased this is a reason the pressure will be decreased as we go higher above the sea level the number of gas particles will be less when you go higher above this level above this uh, level of the atmosphere finally we can say that atmosphere pressure decreases with increasing altitude or increasing height from the earth surface now let's look on to consequences of atmosphere pressure first our body and atmosphere pressure our body and the bodies of other organisms are made up of cells which have fluids that exert pressure from within the air and also other fluids inside our body exert the outward pressure equal to atmosphere pressure you know that our body inside blood is there and air is present their pressure and outside pressure remain equal that's what we could survive if our pressure is more than what happened you know that water flow from higher to low level temperature flow from higher to uh, lower temperature the same way if our body pressure is more our liquid blood liquid will be rushes out through the nose and mouth now we are normal because our inside pressure and outside pressure remain same that's what we could survive no problem we face because of this atmosphere pressure finally we can conclude that net pressure on our body is zero why inside pressure outside pressure inside our body pressure outside our body pressure both are equal then the net force on our body is zero but when we go higher the amount of air particle remain less that means atmospheric pressure will be reduced when you go for higher altitude from the earth surface since their air is less number of air particle is less it is considered to be less denser that is a reason some people face bleeding some people when they travel high altitude they start bleeding because when they go higher our body pressure on the surface at the surface remain equal when we go higher outside pressure is less so our body pressure become more that is a reason it pushes the liquid that means blood through our nose or our mouth reason is our body pressure is more than the atmospheric pressure when our body pressure is more than the outside air pressure blood vessels burst which leads to bleeding through the nose 
more reason is that when you go higher level, higher altitude, air number of oxygen particles in the air is less. So it is difficult to breathe. That is the reason we carry oxygen cylinder. One more thing we should know, the aeroplane inside pressure is maintained at the normal ground level atmospheric pressure. If such maintenance is not done inside the aeroplane, when it go fly up in the air, what happened? No started bedding. We face many problems. When we use vacuum cleaner, air pressure inside it is reduced than the outside air pressure. Thus, outside air pressure is more, which pushes the air particles and dust particles into it. Thus, it acts as a vacuum cleaner. When outside air pressure is more than the inside this vacuum cleaner, the outside pressures pushes the air along with the dust and dirt particles. Thus, the area remains cleaned by using vacuum cleaner. When we breathe in, our ribs move outwards as well as our diaphragm moves downwards. The volume of chest cavity increases and the air inside is spread over the large space. This reduces the pressure inside. The air pressure outside is greater and pushes air into the lungs. When our chest cavity is increased, adjusted by adjusting while breathing in, what will happen per unit area, air pressure will be reduced. So outside air pressure is more, this pushes the air inside to the lungs. Ships at sea also carry barometer which help us to know the air pressure surrounding the atmosphere. The plane is also using barometer to help them to measure the altitude at which they are flying. Such barometer is called altimeter which is used in aeroplane.